this video, I am going to cover two steps. One is how to install Varshark on your home, home lab computers or laptops that you're using for learning courses and material. And also I'm going to cover how to utilize Wireshark applications inside your premium labs and how to use OpenAI or ChatGPT to enhance your learning. So the first thing is, of course, you're watching some sort of videos, courses or, or online videos just like this one that I'm just kind of fast forwarding it. And then that's the first thing you need to understand where to learn it from, like, you know, the guide for Wireshark, whether it's a guideline, documentation, ebooks, whatever it is. Now I'm going to show you how to install Wireshark on your home lab computers that then you can watch this video and replicate whatever you're learning inside Wireshark. So let's assume you're using a virtual box with Windows 11 or Windows 10. It would be the similar type of setup. You're going to go to your browser and this is just to install the Wireshark and go to Google and type Wireshark download. So just like that. Wireshark download and click on download Wireshark. Then here you will pick the installer for your specific model of laptop that you're using. I'm using Windows x84 installer, so I'm going to use that and click on it. And now you see the installation started. Once it's fully installed, you can go ahead and open the, the folder where it's downloaded. You can right click on it and run it as administrator. So let's uh, go ahead and finish the installer by clicking on next 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 and then keep the defaults we do want to uh kind of you know keep everything default if you want to put uh, a icon on the desktop you can do that we're going to click next again make sure that it install end cap and we're going to install the usb p caps as well so i'm going to go ahead and install you will get this information from np cap so here go ahead and click on install and uh, when you get this part it says restrict uh, NPCAP driver access to atmosphere only. That's something you can pick. Support raw 802.11. That's for the uh, wireless adapters. And it's up to you how far you want to go with this. I'm just going to click on install and not do anything else. So once that's completed, click on next again and finish it. And then you're going to get this another because you picked this option while you were installing. So let's go ahead and accept all these agreements. Click next and install and we're going to close this because it's completed and let the whole installation finish so once it's done click on next here and reboot and then we're going to wait for this machine to come up again so at this point we have installed wireshark uh like you know if you have a home lab you would have done the same process to get the wireshark if you are not using our labs um, other than that of course uh, you would use our system to uh, to get access to the wireshark so now that my machine have Wireshark, I'm going to go ahead and double click on it and open Wireshark for the first time. You see it's going out and it's going to detect our network adapters automatically. As you can see, it already detected. So if I, if I come over here, you see it's a 172.24 address. If I look on the Ethernet, that's the address that I want because that's the one that we are using in this, uh, you know, in the system. This is for the uh, virtual machines. So basically we have Hyper-V running here. So if you have a virtual machine network, you may want to pick that as well. So if I click on the Ethernet, it's going to start capturing the, the network of these machines and adapters, whatever is happening right here. So this is how you are going to install it on your home base lab, whichever lab, you, whichever devices you're using. If you're using something else, make sure uh, to uh, do more research, go to different type of forums of Wireshark forums and find out if there's any issues going on. We're not going to be able to help you in that sense. Now, after this, I'm going to show you how to use a specific lab that we have attached in our course. When you launch that lab right here, it already have uh, pre-installed Wireshark available. So you don't have to do all this process again and again. We are going to demonstrate how to open Wireshark using different uh, premium labs. Now, I highly recommend that you should go over important info about using practice lab. Uh, and opening this link and watching this video, it's going to be very important because this is going to teach you how to use the lab, how to get the support. And if there's any issues, you can troubleshoot it yourself first and then reach out to the support if things are not at your local level. So then when you go to another video and you see something like chapter video, that's where the instructor is demonstrating different type of skills on Wireshark. And in this video specifically, 
the instructor mentioned that we are going to ease into Wireshark. We're not going to just start talking about Wireshark in detail because instructor have to first go through the OSI layers, network uh, security part, TCP, UDP, different type of things. This instructor have to break it down. So he's using Wireshark in his video using his own home computer or lab computer. So if you want to practice while instructor is doing something and you feel like, can I just do the similar type of things? Maybe at least try it in a real world environment without installing Wireshark on my personal computer. You can actually click on Wireshark right here and then launch the lab. So once you launch the lab, if you see something like this, go ahead and, and hide it. We are doing something custom, so it will not be supported by this support. So I'm just going to show you how to use these lab computers to perform Wireshark type of uh, skills. If you're watching something in the video, you can come back here and see what instructor is doing. And then you should come back to your lab video. So go ahead and turn on Windows 10 machine and also the Kali machine right here. So this is a Linux machine and this is a Windows machine. If you prefer Windows, then use Windows 10 right here. If you prefer Linux, use Linux. But I'm going to use Windows because that's what we are mainly using. But in Kali, let me just show you. If you open the Linux right now, you can open the Wireshark from this lab as well. So once your Linux machine is open, go ahead and click on the left side and type Wireshark. And that's where you are going to see Wireshark. So you can open Wireshark and give the lab password, which is available right here. If you click here, these are the password. You have learned this from that info video. So once you type your password for the lab, the Wireshark will open just like what instructor is using. And then use one of the uh, adapters that have an internet connection. So if I double click here, that's exactly what instructor did. And then uh, packets were capturing. He stopped it and then he started talking about address resolutions and different type of things in the lab. And when, when you click on it, it gives you more information. So this is why I, I think these labs are super cool when instructor is doing something, even at the home lab. Of course, we're not going to cover every single lab that instructor is using in his own home lab, but you know, whichever we can, we are going to guide you and tell you how to use it. If you want to use uh, the Windows machine, then go ahead and stop this one. You don't have to keep this running. And uh, you can close the Wireshark from here. Let's do without saving. And then let's go to the PLAB Win 10 machine. And you can let it open like that automatically. If you don't want automatic login, you can come here, uncheck this. Or if you want a direct console mode, you can also use this. And the password is available right here in this icon. So if you come to the Windows 10 machine, you can type Wireshark in the search. So just type Wireshark just like that. And you see the Wireshark is also available in this machine as well. Now, once you open it, you can see that Wireshark will open. It may also give you an option to up update the Wireshark. If you would like to get a new version, you can actually do that by installing updates. But that's just going to take more time. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, if you want that, that's fine. But you can close this and you see we have um, some uh, Ethernets that have internet connections. So we have two Ethernet connections. So you can open this one um, and probably this one because this is, you can see the IP address is a PIPA address with the, with the Ethernet 2. You would want to get this one because that's the, the IPv4 that is running inside these labs. So the best thing is you can open this and then what the instructor is doing you can actually follow along sometimes just kind of watch the video right here stop it go back to the lab here and then inside filters and you can do all these things in the workshop now you can actually continue to watch the instructor uh, videos and then come back to the same lab and open the workshop this the way i did and if you want to know which exact lab this is available you can go back here back to title and then launch the first lab right here this is just the first lab devices that have this all of this available so once you launch it you see everything is still running now you can come back after you learn about tcp udp and many other things that instructor is going to go over and then use the wireshark uh, in that machine you can come back over here and then basically play around with wireshark the, the way instructor is doing now Another recommendation is that if you want to learn Wireshark even further, you can always go to any online video such as YouTube or even open uh, a, a, a chat GPT or, or AI type of learning solutions these days. We are living in 2024. These type of solutions should be used for, uh, uh, for even more learning. So you can say, 
teach me how to use Wireshark. So once you basically type that, you see it's going to go out there and it's going to give you some information how to download. So you already got the Wireshark, launch the Wireshark, capture the Wireshark, analyze the Wireshark, and it gives you different type of information right there, just like a teacher. So you don't have to wait for uh, something that you have to watch in the video now these days in 2024 and upwards this is going to become even more advanced for learning and just like that whatever comes to your mind ask that question inside chat gpt which is uh, you can go to and create your own free account in chat.openai.com and then start asking these questions you can even say um, um, i have it running teach me first steps to capture data so once you do this you see it's going to say launch the, uh, the 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 wireshark and right now it says start capturing and gives you like okay what do you want to capture while capturing scroll down you want to capture http tcp dns all of these things and then it gives you exact step by step information on how to do things like that so very powerful stuff is available for you to learn. You got that practical access from us. You got the open AI freely available to you. You got the instructor videos available. And that's how you should really learn, um, you know, advanced skills to enhance your uh, skill set to the next level.